The Hearts of Gold program is brought to you by the Grow and Share Network in partnership with Off the Walter Media Productions. Welcome to Hearts of Gold. Today I have Jennifer with me. Hi Jennifer, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Why don't you tell us about yourself and about your Girl Scout Gold Award project? I am a recent graduate of Fultondale High School. I'm currently attending Jefferson State Community College as a pre-nursing major and just recently obtained my certified nursing assistant license with the plan to get a job at Children's Hospital. My Gold Award project was A Chance for Better, Getting to Know Bullying and Teen Suicide and How to Prevent It. I chose my project just because I had friends that were impacted by it and several that I about lost because of teen suicide because of being bullied. So what did you do for your project? So for my project, I made a book and PowerPoint presentation that has been shared with several local Girl Scout, local and national Girl Scout troops, as well as local school groups. And I have it set up for the end of this month because it is National Bullying Prevention Month to be sharing it with the entire fourth, fifth, and sixth grade at my local elementary school. What types of things did you learn as you went through your project? As I was going through my project, I actually learned how to better my computer skills by trying to write, to, pub, to type in my publishing for my book as, and PowerPoint presentation. I learned people skills and how to, how to coordinate with people to work around their schedules as well as mine to make these presentations happen and how to overcome challenges because I was encountering challenges with some of the schools not letting me in to do my presentations that were needed to be done. What are some tips you can give us related to bullying that we can t take into our own lives? One thing that I've always seen and always said is if you see a bully, step up and stop that bully because you never know what could be going on in the victim's life or the bully's life. And if somebody steps up, you never know. You could just save somebody's life. So what was your biggest takeaway or thing that you learned during your project? The biggest thing I learned during my project, surprisingly, was to never give up. In the middle of my project, I thought I'd finished, but I was trained wrong and didn't have nowhere near enough hours because I was mistrained. And so I was at the point of, I'd submitted all my final paperwork and was told, you don't have enough. You've got to keep going. I wanted to give up because I'd put so much effort into it. I thought I'd finally done it. But I learned, you don't give up. You just keep going and you will eventually achieve your goals. And so what did you do for the first part of your project? And then when you found out that you didn't have enough time invested in your project, what did you continue to do to accumulate the rest of your time? I originally had made the book and the PowerPoint and presented it to just a few places. But after coming back, I found time and added more stuff to my book, more statistics, more facts, and then also added several more presentations, including one to my local city council, as well as the birthplace in Savannah, Georgia, has a copy of my book in their library. Very cool. So did you, do you now see value in the fact that you needed to put more hours in? And how did you feel that that impacted your project overall? Yes, I feel that I found so much value in the fact that I put more time into it because I feel like I've been able to impact more lives with the fact I've put more time into it. What do you know now that you wish you had known when you started your project? Something I know now that I wish I had known when I started was honestly just how prominent bullying was in today's society. When you see some of these statistics that nine out of 10 people are being bullied and don't report it, it's scary statistics to realize what's going on in today's world. And the fact you realize you have a chance, you can change the world. What was your biggest challenge during your project and how did you overcome it? One of my biggest challenges was probably the not being able to get into schools because I'm like, I know from experience of being in some of these schools that they had the kids that needed to hear it, but I was fighting the challenge of administration not wanting to get back to me to let me in. But I've overcame that challenge by I said, okay, I'll find somewhere else to go. And then one of the schools has gotten a new administrator this year, and they're the ones who has decided to let me come in at the end of the year, end of the month, and present to three of their classes. What other Girl Scout experiences have you had that have impacted you? One of the biggest Girl Scout experiences I have that I'll always remember was being selected as co MC for our Women of Distinction ceremony, which is the biggest Girl Scouts, one of the biggest Girl Scout ceremonies. And during that ceremony, it really helped me come out of my shell because I used to be a very shy, introverted girl. And actually got to present one of my best friends and mentors, the Young Woman of Distinction Award. 
Is there anything else that you'd like to share with the audience? Something I would like to share is the fact that no matter how old you are or how young you are, if you see something going on, tell somebody. You could save a life and not realize it. And if, if you turn out, if you don't say something and something happens in somebody's life, you would feel the guilt of, I could have said something but didn't. And I just ruined this person's life. That's very wise. What is your favorite s'mores trick? My favorite s'mores trick is actually one I learned from one of our council representatives at a service unit camp. And that is if you take a Hershey's cookies and cream bar and use that instead of just your regular chocolate, it gives it a totally different flavor and it's really good. Well, thanks for joining me today. Please check us out on social media and don't forget to power your passion and conquer your challenges. The Hearts of Gold program is brought to you by the Grow and Share Network in partnership with Off the Walter Media Productions. If you want to share your story of how you earned your gold award, send an email to growandshare at outlook.com. All episodes of the Hearts of Gold program are available to view at youtube.com slash Cheryl Robinson. That's youtube.com slash S-H-E-R-Y-L Cheryl Robinson. Thank you for listening. Take care, and we'll see you next time.